How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris. How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here, and we are going to test some RAM on AMD's Ryzen 7950X to see which one works better. What type of benchmarks can we pull? Can we get better FPS depending on the type of manufacturer of RAM that we have currently in our hands? Right now, I have G-Skills 6000 megahertz memory in my hand that features Expo profiles. Corsair just recently came out with theirs, which is their Corsair Vengeance 6000 megahertz. Which one is really better? Which one is the best bang for your value when you do purchase either RAM? Now, that all depends on if you're more about performance or looks. I actually just got this shiny new package. Came from beautiful Taiwan. And I can't wait to open it with you guys. And of course, I have G-Skills memory right here. Let's open this up first and I'll show you what it looks like. The reason why it did, these were just recently manufactured and it's not too easy to get your hands on it besides Corsair's website if you do decide to purchase Corsair's RAM. Let's open this up here. And it even tells you it's specifically made for AMD. Vengeance RGB DDR5 memory for AMD. Let's see if G-School has some real competition when it comes to the two. And believe it or not, this is the heavier box here, but you can compare both boxes side by side. Now I know what G-School's memory here, let's open this one up. It comes with a G-School card right here, and it has a nice G-School sticker that you can put on your case if you choose to. So that's the side by side comparison on the two. You can see that the G Skills RAM looks slightly wider, but Corsair's is slightly taller. Now the RGBs are slightly different in the both versions. As you can see, Corsair's on the top is all the way across and G Skills is not as far. Now the timing is different in the two of them. Let me show you the thickness. You sit next, next to them together and you clearly see how much thicker Corsair's is because of the RGBs here compared to G-Skills. We'll show it this way too, side by side. Now I do got to say the most notable difference through Corsair's Vengeance RAM right here is that the timing is slightly different. It is at 30, 36, 36, 76 at 1.4 volts. When you look at this one here, CL30 by 38, 38, 96 at 1.35 volts. And they are both AMD Expo ready. So we're gonna start up this PC and we're gonna get the g skull RAM ready to go and see how exactly we'll set it up. And when you first start on your PC, you will have some default settings. Just make sure you go into your BIOS. And after you go into your BIOS, then from there, we can set the Expo profiles from one or two. So from here, it should load right up. It make sure you go enter under Extreme Tweaker. Now, when you go under Extreme Tweaker, you'll see your AI Overclock Tuner, and this is specifically for ASUS. For every other motherboard manufacturer, such as MSI, Acerock, or Gigabyte, they will have it set differently. But for, on ASUS's motherboard, it will automatic, automatically set the DDR5 to 4800 megahertz as the default setting. So make sure to set your AI Overclock Tuner and set your Expo Profile. Because this is going to be G-Skills memory, make sure you pay attention to your write because where it has the prediction will predict exactly how much your frequency will actually go for your RAM. So now you can see that it is set on to Expo 1. Expo 1 is set for 30, 38, 38, 96, 1.35 volts, which is the default setting for G-Skills memory as we discussed earlier now all you have to do is when you're ready to go make sure you hit exit and save it 
And as you can see, your target DRAM frequency now becomes 6,000 megahertz and your target CPU speed is at 4,500 megahertz. And from here, we will test it and see how it will respond. So this is gonna be for G-Skills RGBs. I'm in Armory Crate currently because that is my manufacturer's motherboard. So we have the automatic rainbow effect as you see going on right now. And then next we're gonna try out the static effect. And static is pretty still. Next is breathing. And we also got Starry Night, which is one of my personal favorites on Aura Sync. We got the Corsair installed, the Corsair Vengeance. Let's see how it starts up. And you know it's Corsair because you can see how nice and bright their LEDs are compared to G Skills. G Skills is a lot more dim when it comes to their brightness. But if RGBs don't really matter and you care more about performance, that's something you wouldn't really worry about too much. And as you can see, it is the 3036, 3676, 1.4 volts. And let's do some testing. So the good thing about Corsair's ARGBs, they're very nice and vibrant. They definitely put out a lot of color and they do have a very nice showing compared to G-Skills ARGBs. It does come with the automatic yucky watercolor and we can change that in IQ. And I'll show you exactly how easy it is. This is what color pulse looks like as it changes colors from orange and yellow and you can set it to however you like. But right now it is set on random colors. Color shift is really nice as well. I like the synchronization kind of gives it that kind of futuristic feel and it's personally one of my favorites and here is marquee another one that some of you may like kind of gives you that cyberpunk feel i'm sure you had enough of a rgb's time for some gaming benchmarks
How do you like them benchmarks? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. You saw the ARGBs in action. You saw the RAM in action. So you can see which one that you prefer. And what you need to know now is the pricing. Which one is better for you? Which is better priced? Which is fits your budget most importantly? G Skills RAM currently goes for $233.99 as it was at $270.99. If you go down in the description box down below, you can purchase it for that very price off of Newegg. Amazon may have it available, but recently their stock has been running low and it seems like they've been slow on the catch up recently. With Corsair's RAM, their DDR5 seems to be only on their website. You can only purchase from them directly as you saw my package came directly from Taiyan, Taiwan and I didn't come from a distributor such as Newegg. And if you're looking for a better deal, I'll make sure to try to post it down in the description box below. Now, the big thing about the two, what I did and didn't like, let's go through the benchmarks first. I gotta say, it was pretty impressive for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, especially when it came to Corsair's Vengeance DDR5, it seemed to perform about 10 to 20 frames per second better. Now there are some advantages with G skills as you saw as it performed better with Control and Halo Infinite. It seemed like with certain titles, it stayed pretty competitive or even better than Corsair's Vengeance DDR5. Now this is all comes down to preference on what you prefer because with Corsair's, I can say it certainly did perform better on Modern Warfare 2, Cyberpunk 2077, and also performed better when it came to Hitman. Surprisingly, it was as much as a 30 to 40 frames per second difference. On the titles that you choose to play, personally, I think Corsair Vengeance is better to go with such titles as first person shooters. And then you got certain games such as Cyberpunk that does perform better with Corsair's Vengeance. Now, either one is a really good deal. G-Skill is the better deal at $4,233.99 versus Corsair's DDR5, which is at $259.99. Depending on your budget, I don't, it's not something that's probably going to make or break you. And if it does, that $30 can make the difference. Personally, what I did like, I do like Corsair's. A RGB is better than a G skills. G skills is much more smaller and almost not noticeable. If that doesn't matter for you, if you don't really care about the ARGBs, then just ignore that portion of it or my portion of it. And they are much more fluent when it comes to their IQ software as it fits their ecosystem very well. There are some issues that you may run into when it comes to Corsair's memory and IQ isn't the perfect software as you know. There are some SPD write issues, which can cause Corsair's Vengeance RAM not to show up. And if it doesn't, I will make another video on that if you do run into that issue, because it is a very common issue amongst Intel or AMD users. And when it comes to G-Skills, you have to rely on the motherboard manufacturers, such as ASUS, Gigabyte, MSI, and Acerock on their ARGB software, you're gonna have to use or all in one ARGB software, which will make things way easier. And if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you check them out. I do plan on making a newer one. I will update a lot of those videos because I do want everyone's ecosystem to work properly. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this, and if you know anybody else who enjoys content just like this about PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you're following my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan band guys, what type of memory or RAM are you looking forward to getting? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.